Well, here at uh, Fomat Tech, we thoroughly believe that knowledge is key in this industry of aviation. The more you know, the better you have the opportunities to have a positive outcome when you have an emergency situation. We don't only teach what a fire is, but we take the people, our students, go into a classroom and cover the basics of a fire, the types of fire you can have in an aircraft, how do you deal with a fire, not only on an individual basis, but with your co-workers, whether it be the front end of the airplane or the back end of the airplane. That portion of the course usually lasts about an hour to an hour and a half, where it's more of a discussion, a group discussion, where those who don't understand certain topics of what we learned can get a better understanding of how to deal with what we're going to be teaching in the simulator. It's a very hands-on, it's a very well thought out course with the types of instructors we have. Uh, we here at, at Aeroforma Tech, we have instructors that have backgrounds in firefighting. We have flight attendants that teach the course. We have pilots that teach the course. And we also have maintenance technicians that also teach the course and take the course. So we have really all the aspects of firefighting in aviation bundled up all into one process. That theory course is finished. We'll have maybe a 10 to 15 minute break. And then afterwards, we're gonna to go towards a simulator, which is an actual interior of an aircraft with seats, galley, a cockpit, a lavatory uh, unit, a baggage compartment with baggages where you're not just going up to a fire and putting it out. You're dealing with smoke, finding the smoke, the proper techniques on how to deal with the fire, on how to work with the people that you're actually in the aircraft with, whether it be your co-workers or the passengers, uh, whether it's a, an electrical fire, a galley fire, a trash bin fire, a seat fire. Those are all different topics that we're going to be teaching throughout this course. Uh, the fires we're putting out in the simulator are real fires. They are propane-based fires with the smoke that we use is a non-toxic smoke. We use face masks, oxygen masks, that, but we don't need them. It's just for to put yourself in the atmosphere of being in a real fire. The fire extinguishers we use, we simulate they are halon, but they're not. They're just bottles filled with nitrogen and which have a capacity of about eight to 12 seconds of use. As well, the whether it be pilots or the flight attendants, everyone passes through the ranks of how to put out a fire, how to pass the information. That's where our four S's come into context. The site, the source, the severity, and the smoke. All the components we want to have to be able to find and put out a fire and make sure that fire is put out properly. Once we have all those four S's completed, we can pass that information along to the front end of the aircraft, whether it be the captain or the co-pilot. And they can make the decisions on what to do, where to go on their procedures as well. We can go up to groups from 9 to 12 students at a time. If we have a bigger group than that, we'll do two sessions. We'll split the group up if need be. Usually, like I say, the simulator session lasts about 45 minutes to an hour, all depending on how many students we have. Everybody actually takes a turn at putting the fire out. Everyone takes a turn sitting up front so everyone can actually see what the front end crew is experiencing as well as smoke and as well as the pilots are going to sit in the back as passengers and will take the role of a flight attendant as well to see how do they deal with the situation. Uh, anybody can go out and put up a fire, but try trying to put up a fire and finding a fire when you have smoke and you don't see two feet in front of you is a completely different situation. <laughs>